My name is Owen Cardiff and I play guitar in the band Picture This and we are currently on tour in America. I'm going to show off my gear and firstly we start with our guitars we use. The main guitars, I use this PRS Custom 22 SE. It's quite a cheap PRS but it's quite a nice PRS, it's good, pickups are nice on it, plays lovely. And I use it for more of my uh, more crunchy tone, kind of more distorted tones that I have just because it's got the humbuckers and stuff. I use this for more of a heavier tone, like such songs like More Than Just Tonight and Hurt Nobody. Um, a lot of the new tracks actually use them. So Everything or Nothing, quite loud, distorted tones. Uh, strings I use are Elixirs 10 to 46 on these. I use all my guitars 10 to 46, so we a big stack of them here. The Nano Web ones. Sentence usually tone is quite up, it's always up full on the bridge. That's nearly for all the songs. A couple of songs I use, I use the neck pickup just for more of a rounder tone, more warmer. Which is a new enough strat 2016 US Deluxe. Pretty standard. Same again, same strings, nano webs 10 to 46. Settings again, use bridge. A couple of songs I might switch up, use the neck or the second position. Tones up full, really. And that's it really, swapped out the pickguard for a nice sparkly black pickguard. It was the old kind of mint green one that comes on strats. This is every other song that I don't use the PRS on, so I'll take my hand, one drink, you know, um, modern love, anything else that I don't use the PRS. It's literally that. And then I just have a backup strat, that's all. So I use that, it's just a white one, it's an old one. I think it's a 2006, yeah, 60th anniversary. So this did have the kind of tortoise shell, you know, that maroon scratch play. I took it off. It's kind of a bit battered. It's kind of, I end up picking it off myself, throwing it away. Bobby doesn't like it though, because I blame him. What happened to that? Where's that gone? So this is just literally a backup. I don't use it for, Ryan uses it actually for Life of the Party, because he does a solo, so. He doesn't usually play much guitar on any of the songs nowadays, so he just uses this for that song. Which is good. And we all our guitars are run on these Accent, the Shore Accent, which the wireless system, which are great. So we have the four band one here, so you have four guitars, and then we have two on as well, so you can see why black uh, strat, white strat and PRS. My acoustic's actually on one as well, so. which is handy. And then it's just a multi-selector to switch between. So black, it's quite easy. White PRS. Acoustic, my one is called Takamine EN10C. It's quite an old guitar. I think it's could be close to 30 years old. I'm not sure. It's my old man's, but I take it on tour with me now. Sounds great. I use it for one song. Addicted to you. That's the only song I use it now. But it's a nice guitar. And Ryan, Ryan uses a Gibson J45 for Take My Hand. Beautiful guitar. So that's the only song he uses that on. And again, all on the accent, wireless. Strings are, yes, they're elixirs as well. And they are 12 to 53. So bronze. Just a good sound string. They do the job, you know. I think we change, we change strings every, I think it's five shows, am I correct? Yeah, roughly five gigs. You know, we're not hard hitters, so we don't really have to change them. Picks, we all use these uh, Diodarios custom picks. We all have our different colours. Cliff Ryan, me, our signatures on the back. So mine are heavy gauge, Ryan's are medium, Cliff's are extra heavy. So we have a lot of those. Too much. You can nearly sell them. Pedals, this is our acoustic setup. So we're just literally going through uh, two DIs. Um, Tuners, that's it, on and off. It's pretty straightforward, straight into the front of the house then. And as in terms of guitar amp for electrics, I'm using a Kemper at the moment, Profiler. Just find it easier for touring, like it's it comes in this rack and it just goes into a small tour case, that black one there. And that's it, that's your whole amp setup. Like and you could have four hundred amps in that, you know, and it doesn't weigh anything. It's great. So before I used the profiler, I used to use a Vox AC30, and then I'd have like a Tube Screamer, 
um, EQ pedals, whatever. I didn't use much, uh, micro amps. And then, so we, myself and Jimmy went to Jimmy's studio and we actually profiled my sound with that I used. And it came out quite good. But then, since getting this, I can experiment and download new patches and you find out other stuff that works. And then you can, what we do is you listen to the album and then I try to recreate that in my own little studio home where I'd listen in Pro Tools, just the guitar patch. And then I input this, and I try match them as best I could, which is good. It takes time, but it's worth it in the end. Like most of the songs sound exactly like the album, which is good. But I use a lot of different apps now. I've used like for if I go to like this morning, there's an AC30, a train wreck, which is a handmade custom map, I think. I've just seen a guy use it. I think it was Katy Perry's guitar player using it in his rig rundown. So I just got it. That sounded great. So with a tube screamer. Some of them, more than just tonight, I use a 5150 and a train wreck, so 5150. It's quite metal. Bring out the metal side of me. They're all built in the list. I just used my previous set, but a tube screen was the main kind of distortion. So uh, whatever I got in this, so there could be anything on it. There's a lot of delays on this and reverbs. They're all kind of built into it, so I just use them. I don't, I never had like a, a striming or anything like that, so I never, I don't think you can profile time-based effects anyway. You have to just use them. So there's just lots built into it. There's modulations and, I don't know, graphic equalizers. There's a, a treble booster, another graphic equalizer, noise gates, a couple like that. And then there's, like, uh, where are we going? A single delays, a studio equalizer, a, a phaser, one-way, compressors, but it's just handy because the profile has all this built in, so you can just literally flick through it, find the sound you like, and save it, and go from there. And it's great because if we don't, like, if you don't want to tour with this, and you can rent one, you just use a USB. You can save all your your sounds when you're in pro perform mode. You have everything there. Your whole set list you can set up. You can save it on any amp, which is great. And then the foot controller I use is just the, the standard cable. The one that comes with it, volume control. Handy. We all use the same ears, uh, Ultimate ears, UE11s, which are great. I think they're a quad driver. I think there's a high mid and two lows. I think they're made for more bass players and DJs, and, but they're really good. So we're all on them. Um, they sound great. I don't, I don't need an amp. A lot of lads say you need an amp behind you to kind of push that sound, push some air. This is the the powered one, so I can run a cab if I need be, but there's no point when you're touring. It's just too much weight to carry. Extra gear to haul. But it sounds great. Yeah. Mics are the same as the rest of the lads. See Jimmy's using a bit of 56 and then Ryan uses a Sennheiser, I think, or wireless. But that's it, really. Check us out on social media. Instagram, it's at BandPictureThis. Twitter is at PictureThis. And Modern Love is out now. Go stream it or download it or buy it or whatever. It's available everywhere.